Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And um, yeah, so I figured, you know what, I would go ahead and just make this video real quick. And yeah, in a little bit, I got to do some work on the car. Well, on this car. So, but anyways, um, so this was kind of like a requested video. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and just make this video this morning and just answer the question regarding the Google Pixel 8a. Um, and that is, how's the Google Pixel 8a doing being on a custom ROM? Um, so for those who don't know, I did flash Evolution X onto my Google Pixel 8a. And the reason that I did that is that, you know, I just wanted the Pixel 8a to have more customization than what's already in present stock Android. Um, and so, you know, I'm able to achieve that with a custom ROM. And yes, it's on Android 14. Uh, I do know that Android 15 is coming out on 10, 15, 2024. I'm well aware of that, and uh, there's not anything within Android 15 that I feel like I absolutely must have right out the gate. So eventually it will be on Android 15, but for like right now, it's on Android 14 with this custom ROM. And, you know, I get why someone would ask me like, oh, how's my Pixel 8a doing right now? Like, I totally get that. Uh, because when it comes to custom ROMs, it's a hit or miss. Um, sometimes, you know, you could you know, flash a custom ROM and everything is going just fine. And then after it being on the device for a long period of time, it starts to, you know, starts to bug out and show some issues and things like that. I totally, uh, I get why people would think that's happening. But to be quite honest with everybody, that's not, uh, that's not what's happening though. So, you know, I got to give a shout out to Evolution X. Uh, they did a phenomenal job with their custom ROMs and also support for their, their ROMs with many different devices that they support. Um, the Pixel 8a is doing just fine. There's no issues at all with it whatsoever. Um, are, are there bugs here and there? Yeah, of course there is. You know, there's certain things that, you know, may fail to to work. But it's not anything detrimental that would ruin the experience or ruin, you know, the phone itself. Um, it's nothing to that nature or whatever. Um, the only bug, for those who are curious what the bug is, is that if I use a, a wallpaper and I... Uh, set the wallpaper from Zedge, because that's the app that I download wallpapers from. But if I use Zedge wallpapers and I set those wallpapers as 3D parallax, um, when rebooting the phone, it, when it gets to the lock screen, it doesn't show that wallpaper. It's not until I unlock the phone, like, you know, with my security, uh, you know, method, um, when it has the first initial boot up. That's when it uh, engages the 3D parallax wallpaper from Zedge. Other than that, um, that's the only bug, really. Uh, and, and to me, that's fine. When when I have the phone powered off, you know, I tend to power off my devices like every couple of days, you know, just allowing things to kind of just like reset. Um, when turning it back on, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. It doesn't, you know, doesn't get under my skin that... Um, it's showing the stock wallpaper that was originally on it before the customized wallpaper. So it's not even a real big deal. It doesn't take away functionality from the phone. I'm not losing anything that's going to become aggravating where I just want to go ahead and just downgrade it and flash it back to stock ROM, which you can though. For those who want to know, like if you apply a custom ROM on the Pixel 8a, can you, um, can you flash it, you know, can you bring it back to stock Android? Is it a pain in the butt? It's actually not. Um, for those who want to know, the easiest way to do it is using the uh, Android Flash tool um, and just selecting the proper um, stock Android for this and connecting it to your computer and then flashing it on there. Uh, that's one thing that I really like about Google Pixels is that they got a Flash tool that would you know do some repairs uh, on your device if you need to, right? So you don't always have to take it into like uh, you know you break I fix that's certified to repair Google devices. You can you know, use a, an online flash tool. Um, but yeah, so that's how you would downgrade. That's like the easiest way. Instead of having to look for like the system image and flash that onto the device from ADB or from fast boot or having to get like, you know, the boot image, the system image and all that and just flash those one by one, you can just use the Android repair tool and flash it onto your device and just put it back. You can even relock the bootloader that way too. It gives you an option if you want to relock the bootloader and you can do that too as well if you want to just bring it back to full stock. Um, that's entirely up to you. But I can say that, you know, with the custom ROM of Evolution X, everything is functioning and working just fine. There's no issues at all whatsoever. So, 
Um, at a side note, uh, yeah, I kind of seen, uh, you know, another post on, uh, on social media about certain people that, you know, are like, they're Google Pixel fans and they love Google Pixels, but then after that, you know, like the, they're switching to iPhone and everything. Like, I don't pay too much attention to that type of stuff because I know that there's content creators out there that are just, you know, white teeth smiles and, you know, saying whatever is the popular at the moment. Um, look, you know who, you know which content creators are being genuine and which are not being genuine. I mean, that's, that's a given. Anyone that, you know, um, anyone can see right through the smoke and mirrors of that stuff. Uh, does it bother me that, you know, people, um, say they're Pixel fans and then, you know, they're like, um, you know, well, Pixel fanboy switches to iPhone. It doesn't really bother me. Um, when it comes down to YouTube and all this stuff, I really don't like to participate in some of that, that drama. Uh, I don't know. I tend to focus on my channel. Like, that's, that's the thing that's uh, most important to me. So, anyways, yeah, Google Pixel 8a on a custom ROM. It's still doing fantastic. And, you know, shout out to the Evolution X team. Uh, you guys are amazing. All the support and what you guys do. Um, so, if you guys do flash a custom ROM on your device, and if you choose Evolution X, please head over to the Evolution X page and, you know, give them a little something for their work, you know, $5, $10. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not going to break your wallet, but it does help them. It helps them get more devices for them to use, to develop on, to bring us this really cool custom ROM. And that's probably one of the reasons that, you know, I enjoy custom ROM so much is that it is, you know, it, it just, it just breathes new life into your smartphone. So you get all these real cool things you could do with it. It's not anything that's like, you know, groundbreaking, but it does change the atmosphere of how the device is. So just kind of want to be clear on that. All right. I'll talk to you on the next one. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel. I've been doing a thought of the days on that channel, blogging and everything like that. So yeah, we're good.